ahead and open up Wick Editor and add a shape. I just picked an ellipse. It's fill colors black, which was default. So I want to show you a new technique. The technique we've been using so far is frame by frame animation, where we have a, a green dot here and I copy my shape, add another frame so it's frame by frame, paste it, and then change it to the way you want it to look. So I have a simple animation. That's frame by frame animation. That is for very detailed animation. But there's another kind of animation called tweening. And I'll tell you why it's called tweening in a minute. I think you'll see. So we start off with a green dot, but we need to convert that green dot to know that it's not frame by frame anymore. It's going to be tweening. To do that, there's a diamond over here. It says add tween. When you click on that, it changes that to a black diamond. Now to make tweening work, you need two black diamonds. So I'm going to stretch this out to frame 20. And on 20, I want my second black diamond. So I had to click on this frame right here for 20. Make sure the playhead's over it. That's like your hint. Click on the black diamond. So now I have two black diamonds. And I just have to tell it where I want this shape to be by frame 20. So on frame 1, that's its starting place. By frame 20, that's its ending place. And then the tweening fills in everything between. Now let's try this again. I'm going to go to New, create a brand new file. I'm going to even use the same shape. Practice it again. So we start off with the green dot. We have to tell it that we're tweening. This time I'm going to use 10 frames. Click on the 10. My playhead's over top of it, which is my hint that I'm in the right spot. Add your tweening. And then tell it where you want the shape to be by the end of the animation. So it starts here, and it should end up here. And it works. So it goes so fast this time because it only has 10 frames. Last time we had 20 frames. So the more frames you have, the slower something's going to be. But here's what I can help you with next. If I stretch this out again on frame 20... I'm going to add another diamond and move this again. So I can kind of keep this tween going by adding more diamonds. And I can kind of keep this moving. So once I have these things in place, they don't have to stay here either. So if I click on this diamond, I want it to move up here. So by frame 10, I want it to be here. So in frame 1, I didn't move it. It's still there. Frame 10 and 20. So now it has a little bit of a different shape that it moves. So I don't have to, like, if I don't want it to end in that corner on this diamond, I want it to maybe at, end up over here. So now it's going to end here. So you click on the diamond and you move it where you want it to go. So we're going to practice that tweening with a card chase scene. It's almost like an old-fashioned video game where I draw one card. So I used a brush tool to make some of these cars. And one, they, they end up on the other side of the scene. But for one car, you want to use less frames so it gets there faster. In another car, you use a lot, of more, a lot more frames so it gets there slowly, slower. Some people in my class chose to use something other than cars. That's fine. Have them race across the screen. See if you can determine who the winner is. I think this is hard to tell who the winner is. Um, but some of them, this is very clear clearly telling you this is my sample of a car chase scene. You can tell very clearly that the blue is winning. So in your scene, you should tell very clearly what car is winning as well or what object if you're not going to use a car. Good luck.